How's it going, guys? I um, hope everyone um, is having a good week so far and that uh, everyone is doing well. Uh, so for this this week's discussion, I decided to take all five of the personality tests. And I um, got to admit, they're kind of, kind of a lot. Just like there's a lot of different questions. Um, and I just did them all in one sitting and it kind of like, um, you know, fried my brain a little bit. Uh, but I thought they're they're pretty helpful. I don't know how accurate they were, um, but I'm oh, sorry they're I'm starting to fall away. But uh, but yeah, but I think they really were interesting. I think I throughout doing these uh, different tests really helped me to understand more of um, who I am now and like who I used to be and um, you know where I'm going um, as far as personality wise. Uh, so the first one I took was. Um, the uh, the big five pers um, big five personality trait, which basically goes over um, five different traits and uh, measures you on them. So there's openness, conscientious conscientiousness. Sorry, I got better at vocabulary than that usually. Um, extroversion, agreeableness, and uh, neurotism. Um, so on openness, I put me like towards the middle. Um, I said I was like uh, kind of more on the conventional side and then conscientiousness I was more conscientiousness and then extroversion it definitely said I was more extroverted um, agreeableness it took put me more towards the middle and then neuroticism it put me more towards um, the anxious um, and worrisome side and I mean I kind of agree um, I felt like some things were uh, like the extroversion and the uh, openness um, sections were more accurate, but like uh, like the neuroticism, um, where, where I was saying I was uh, more anxious, I didn't really think I'm really that anxious anymore. Uh, but still, but uh, yeah, I thought that was super helpful. Pro I'll probably have to say it was my least favorite of the tests, just because it was so basic, and um, I thought the results were kind of hard to um, to measure and. I don't think it really helped me too much, but um, I have to say this next test though, the um, the accuracy temperament sorter, I thought that was pretty helpful. Um, so the results I got from that test, it said I was irrational. Um, it says rationals make up 10% of the entire population. So that made me feel real special. Um, but Basically, um, it said that I'm more tended to be more skeptical and self-contained in problem solving um, and systems analysis. I try to be tend to be strong-willed and independent, and um, I'm a, stra a strategic strate strategic uh, leader um, and even-tempered and more logical. And I feel like that that's that's fairly accurate. Not like. Um, super accurate, but, um, but yeah, I felt like that was that was pretty helpful. Um, but yeah, it's cool. I guess I'm ten percent. I'm one of the ten percent of the population. I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, so then the next test I did um, was the Myers Briggs type test, and I've I think I've taken this before in high school, and I got the same results um, taking. Again, this time that I did in high school, and it says I'm an ENTP, which means I'm extroverted, intuitive, thinking, and prospecting. And I think that's um, that's pretty accurate. It says I tend to be more bold and creative, um, deconstructing and rebuilding um, with a great mental agility. Um, so that really boosted my ego there. Uh, but yeah, so I, I, I enjoyed taking that test as well. Um, the next one was the Cattle's. Um, 16 questionnaire. Um, so basically, this test gives you a whole bunch of like different topics um, or traits, and then rates you on a scale of one or zero to four. And um, some of the ones I scored higher on were warmth, reasoning, emotional stability. Um, I scored pretty high in liveliness. Um, social bondness. I scored pretty low on like self-reliance and perfectionism and stuff like that. And so, and sensitivity. 
I need to work on that. But um, I, I felt like that was, this one was super accurate. And I, I like this one a lot better than the five traits test because I, I just felt like it was a lot more, it gives you a lot more traits to, you know, um, to, you know, examine. And yeah, I think it was just like a lot more of an accurate test because it goes over more traits. Um, and then the last test was the color code test. And so this test um, asks, you, asks you a whole bunch of questions about how you, how you were as a kid. Um, and which I thought was, it was really interesting because I feel like I'm a lot different now than I was when I was a kid. And, um, but yeah, so that was a fun test, like just trying to think back to how I would deal with certain situations back in the day. Um, but the, I got the color yellow for the color test and it says you must um, accept place, playful teasing, enjoy my charismatic innocence, uh, value my social skills and remember I feel deeply um, and push me and you must not push me to intensely ignore me, forget my creativity, think I'm a lightweight or criticize me seriously. Um, so I, I kind of agreed with that. I mean, I'm not really um, too much that way anymore, but I definitely used to be. Um, but I do think like a lot of those things still do kind of exist within my personality. Um, but yeah, so I think overall personality, um, personality tests are helpful, but I do feel like they can be dangerous. And I feel like sometimes with personality tests, like sometimes people take them a little too far. Um, I just remember back in high school, I don't really know if Zodiacs are too much of a personality test, but I just remember people would base their whole identity on like, um, you know, these star signs that will tell them about their, uh, their, their identity. In fact, I was on a date once and my date asked me what my Zodiac sign was. And I was just like, I have no idea. And then she started going off about how they're important and stuff. And, I just feel like it, it can be dangerous and at some point you just have to uh, take things out how they are and just, um, you know, live life and be who you are. But I think overall I do agree with the results and it was interesting comparing con and contrasting the results of these different tests. But um, yeah, have a good drink, guys.